Yo, what's cracking, Akuma Corporation? Welcome back to another video on the main channel, the Professor Bub's channel. I've been doing a lot of work on the uh, Bubby Eats channel, so my secondary YouTube channel. If you haven't seen it, go over there, subscribe. I basically make food videos on different places that I find on Japanese blogs. Basically, it's just like food videos from Asia, Japan, Korea, Hong Kong, stuff like that. So go check it out, go subscribe. So today's video, uh, we're at Barbell Brigade and we're going to be jumping into week two of the meat prep. And so I decided to basically uh, scrap loads and loads and loads of footage from before, before like April, 2023. I was planning on making a giant six month long video documenting my first USAPL powerlifting meet. Uh, that actually fell through. Anyway, the point is we are signed up for a new meet. We're gonna be competing at the Hidden Strength Showdown uh, later on in the year in, in about October. And so I've got about nine or 10-ish weeks to prepare for this meet. So like I said, we're jumping into week two. I kind of forgot to record week one, but I did make some uh, YouTube shorts about week one's training. The idea is that I'll be making a video, one video a week documenting the process. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about my entire uh, meat prep programming, but I will be documenting more or less the process. So today, we're starting off week two with a squat and bench day. Let's get to it. My gym nemesis is here today, y'all. Well, I call him a gym nemesis, but he doesn't actually even know that I exist, really. Um, it's my self-proclaimed gym nemesis. Do you guys have somebody like that at your gym? You kind of feel like they're your rival, but they don't know it because you're too antisocial to actually say anything or talk to them or whatever. Side note, we're uh, getting the knee sleeves on for today, and I just realized how insane my hair looks right now. Yeah, I didn't I didn't shower this morning. Normally I shower in the morning, like I'll, I'll like wash out my hair and stuff in the morning. But yeah, today we just kind of like left the house as fast as possible because we wanted to make it to a Chinese bakery and uh, make sure that we got some baked goods before they sold out. And luckily we got there in time. But yeah, I was kind of in a rush this morning so I didn't really bother. I think my knee sleeves shrunk or something. Surely it can't be that my legs are getting bigger. But they've been getting really, really difficult to get on. Oh, okay. Whew. Getting them off is never the problem for me. I know a lot of people struggle to get these things off, but for me, it's always getting it on. Getting it off is freaking easy. And honestly, it's probably because I sweat so much that by the time I'm done and I'm like ripping it off my leg, it's so slimy and gross from all my sweat that it just comes off super easy. But dude, this is ridiculous. Uh, for those of you wondering, I wear a medium, a size medium and SPDs. Um, I can wear the large. They're a lot more comfortable on my calves and my thighs and on my, you know, my quad, but it's not tight enough on my knee. My knee joint is stupid small compared to my quad and calf. I like to size down in the knee sleeve to feel a little bit more secure. But damn, it was substantially harder than normal to get these things on today. Oh my God, it took me straight up four minutes, dude. I'm looking at my camera right now. Straight up four minutes to get these things on today. I feel like I'm done. I feel like I'm ready to pack it up and I just dip for the day. Um, yeah, unfortunately there's no like combo racks available. So I'm gonna have to go hit up a uh, the power racks here. But we are moving back to squat shoes. Um, I have tested extensively uh, squatting in my flats and squatting in my squat shoes and I have pretty much come to the conclusion squat shoes feel better on my hips um, for you know I guess like obvious reasons you know I have long femurs so it's uh, a little bit easier on the hip if I wear a heeled shoe but anyway I'm gonna move all my gear and my junk over to the oh my god my stomach is like destroying me today, bro. Also, uh, I'm using a squat bar today because there's seemingly no more power bars available to use. Oh, God. Oh. It feels like a little off balance. I don't know. Might just be me. This week's 4x4 is supposed to be at, uh, I think, 200 kilos we're gonna want to work out to 440 so finished warming up 
And uh, honestly, it took a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take because uh, I had to take like two emergency dumps. My stomach's been jacked up since two days ago. I had some like Diablo level spicy food like two days ago, two, three days ago. I think I got it, most of it out of my system by now. I'm not really worried about the weight. I'm actually more worried that I'm gonna crap myself. I got three more sets of that and I'll be moving on into the bench. I'm actually Wait a second. Oh, I'm so dumb, dude. I'm, I'm doing 445. This is supposed to be 440. I'm doing 445. Oh, well, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Not me realizing on the very last set. I don't know if I put it in the video, but there's this, some, some dude harassed me. Tried to, like, spit some knowledge at me. How old is he? 29? You're not a kid. What? I said you're not a kid. You're not a young man. No. Holding your breath on purpose? It's called a Valsalva maneuver. And now spitting greater knowledge back. And he just like starts deflecting and saying like, I don't know what that is, so it can't be real type of shit. And I'm just like, all right, whatever. Now if it were just me, I'd be whatever. But the fact is, I got so pissed off because I saw him when I first came in today, harassing other people too. I'm just like, why? Not the cleanest, definitely not the cleanest, but we'll take it. Accidentally, five pounds over what was prescribed for the day, but whatever, it's fine. Moving on to bench. All right, here we go. First set of bench. I'm supposed to be doing 125, but I just decided to go up a little bit. It's not hurting that bad. Definitely not pushing as straight as I want to though. That second rep felt kind of bad, but I think it's fine. I'm going to watch it back. Two by two just go pretty quick. And uh, thankfully, my shoulder's not screaming in too much pain today. Honestly, like, I'm feeling a little bleh right now. And uh, I kind of want to skip accessories. Not going to lie. But, uh... Nah, I'm, I'm still gonna do them. I'm just gonna change focus. And uh, for me, like, for me, accessories are pretty much just like bodybuilding day. And so I like to just switch my mental from powerlifting to bodybuilding. All right. Uh, um. Actually, uh, didn't really hurt that much. That went a lot better than the first one. So accessories went pretty well, I would say. Like, hit the same numbers that I hit last week, but it felt easier than week one. 
And that's kind of like the thought process behind my programming and, you know, how I uh, schedule, you know, growth, right? How I schedule growth and not only strength, but like hypertrophy too. So uh, I like to try to utilize, you know, same weights week for week, but allow that to get easier uh, to the point where I can put some more reps in. And essentially, that's usually my go-to strategy for progressive overload, right? Uh, but yeah, shoulder press felt fine. Chest flies felt fine. Dips did, didn't happen. Uh, I tried one and my shoulder was screaming in pain. So not gonna, not gonna be doing dips anytime soon. Overall, pretty, uh, pretty satisfied with my training sessions today. Uh, apart from that altercation earlier, where that guy was basically trying to mansplain to me. You know, when people come up to you with the intent of like, you know, mansplaining, right? And just like saying, they're essentially, it's essentially like backhanded compliments, right? Where like, this person's coming up to me, they're saying like, oh yeah, um, you know, you could work on this and that's gonna allow you to get to a 500 pound squat. I've squatted 500 and I was like, dude, I squat 500s for reps. And as soon as I told him like what my actual max was, he's like, oh, well, I've squatted one pound more than that. And I was like, what the f***? But what really grinds my gears, what really starts pissing me off is when it's, it's happening to other people around me. At that point, I just blow up. I get real mad. If you are going to come up to me and spout some fucking nonsense, at least, at least have the evidence to back yourself up. That's all I'm saying. I'm very receptive, you know, to new ideas. As long as you have the evidence to back yourself up, that's all it is. I'm gonna finish up cardio for the day, but uh, thanks for tuning in to the first video, which is week two. Feels weird, I know, but be on the lookout for weekly uploads. Uh, I'm just gonna pick training days at random to basically do this. It does kind of suck that I didn't get to do the meet that I originally planned to do because I did check my weight class to see what the results were and had I competed I would have guaranteed first place which obviously like winning's not important winning's not everything but I'm very competitive so we'll see what happens anyway thanks for watching comment like subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video professor bub out